G'day guys and welcome back to Heroes tutorial series. This is our sample dwelling walkthrough segment. Here I'll be taking you through a reasonably complex single residential project as we model it for a typical NatHAS assessment. We're going to go all the way from reviewing the plans to certifying the project within the Hero workflow. We're going to follow a Hero workflow all throughout this tutorial. This is one of the small features coming soon to Hero where we'll be integrating workflows into the app, checkbox steps, hints, etc., so that you can track progress as you do a project. So if you leave it where you've got to, we've found that these workflows are really great quality assurance tools. Just so you know, you're making sure you're following the correct procedure as you do a project every time, not leaving anything out. It actually means you can perform your task quicker because you're confident that you're following the correct procedure and not missing anything out. So for this sample dwelling, we're going to be following our visual to data workflow which is just to model everything in the visual view first and then pass on to the data grid and enter everything there. This is an alternative to our other uh, workflow, which is a more segment by segment approach, where you model everything completely visual view to data grid, like zones, visual to data grid, walls, visual to data grid, openings, visual to data grid, etc. That one's got its benefits. It's gonna be down to personal preference, but stay tuned for more info on that as we bring it into testing soon. So we'll be taking you through this project First with an initial documentation review then doing all the visual items in the visual view then entering in all the data grid information. Once we've got our model up and running, we'll be running a few simulations, checking out our results. And if we're happy with those results, we'll take it to the Hero web portal where we'll produce our NAT documentation set. The project's reasonably complex for what is a simple floor plan. We've got multiple construction types. We've got directional internal assemblies. We've got various roof constructions that mean we need to split some ceilings. We've got a roof space construction and a flat ceiling uh, roof construction. Uh, we've also got a documentation set that's lacking in site context, so we're going to have to model the neighbouring dwellings and fences as per our technical notes guidance, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. So hopefully there's enough in this for you guys to get something out of it. Hopefully this provides some industry context for your training, how HERO sits within the NatHERS assessment process. Also, just a final note, I hope you don't find it too rushed. We do cover a lot of ground in this course, but we've tried to edit it down so that it's quick, useful, not too boring, not too many pauses. We've done that primarily because the, so much of this walkthrough is relatively simple data entry, such as wall heights, etc., where we don't really need to be discussing much. Um, and so in those sections, we really just want to pass through the whole project, present some ideas and approaches, show you how you can solve a few problems within Hero that might occur when you're doing you know, those assessments within Hero. Okay, let's get to it.